Hi, I'm Danny with City Hope, and we're back with um, another scenario for you to be able to watch um, on your screen and uh, and process through. And I'm going to warn you, um, this one is um, it's pretty detailed, it's pretty graphic um, as far as as what happened. Um, and I'm going to spoil it a little bit for you, but I want you to um, to understand the significance of this particular video. So. In this video, what you'll see is a, a woman who um, brought a boyfriend home, family um, thought something was off but couldn't exactly put words to it and figure out what was going on. Um, and then it turned out that he, um, the, the, the boyfriend um, became aggressive and became violent. Um, and the woman actually kicked him out. Um, and so the relationship ended and in the aftermath he came back and as you watch the video here's what I want you to think about and begin to to jot down notes and process through because it'll be your assignment from from this particular video and this particular training I want you to think about what potentially could have been done to safety plan and implement safety procedures at the time that the woman kicked him out, when she terminated the relationship, was there anything that could be done prior to that that would have helped prevent what happened? And then once she kicked him out, in the aftermath, were there things that could have been done to, to help um, prevent the, the violent ending uh, to this particular scenario? And I'd like you to write that down and send it to training at cityhopenow.org. Um, again, that's training at cityhopenow.org. And on this particular assignment, I've got a, a secondary layer to this that I really want you to um, take some time and um, very reflectively consider. You will see that while we can go back and we can look at maybe what could have been done, maybe some additional steps. I'm gonna tell you that there are some cases where there's just not a whole lot that can be done to prevent somebody from carrying out um, a very bad decision that they make. So in the aftermath of what happened, if this scenario played out no different on one of our calls than it plays out in the video, what thoughts would we be thinking for the family that's left? How would we be able to support them? What, what guidance potentially could we give? Um, what could be done to support them going forward? And then you, as a City Hope volunteer, I know as, as the executive director, if this was one of our calls, I would be impacted. What would my steps be to practice good self-care? What would my steps be to, to make sure that I'm gonna be okay in the aftermath of this particular call? And I want just as much attention paid in, in what you write and what you send to us about that question as what you would do in the midst of the call if this was your client. Well, this is Dr. Stan DeCoven. I hope you've enjoyed our course and the courses on domestic violence. So I wanna share some thoughts here. Uh, we wanna especially thank Danny Womack for the incredible expertise that she's shown in her teaching on domestic violence intervention. She's, she's given you an assignment in her video. Uh, so we want you to complete that assignment and hold it until the end of the course. Uh, once you've completed uh, the worksheets uh, in Unit 3 and Unit 4, you want to email them to yours truly. That's S. Decoven, S, my last name, D-E-K-O-V-E-N, at vision.edu. Or you can snail mail it to me at Dr. Stan DeCoven, P.O. Box uh, 1680, Ramona, California, 92065. Attention, DV certification, and I'll make sure your material gets graded and, of course, get your feedback and all of that. So, again, we want to thank Danny and the team at Hope, City Hopes, our ministries and also all of you students, we're trusting that this has been a valuable experience for you.